Greetings, Dan Stanislaw. This is OpenShot. I'm going to show you how to subtitle a Russian audio uh, using Russian audio file with Russian text using OpenShot and YouTube. Let's get to work. Uh, first thing I need to do is import from the desktop uh, the audio file, which is this one right here. Click Add. It's fairly large. Let's see if it works. Audio is there. Drag it down. And now the next is uh, I load an image. I need to add that. And that's going to come from the desktop. And it's right here, the JPEG. And I drop that down. I put it at the beginning. And this file, properties, the audio file, is that long. Click cancel. And now I'm going to change the properties here length because I'm just slamming it out I'm not doing anything fancy uh, let's go ahead and save it's always good to save save project and now I'm going to export the video 12 months web profile uh, using YouTube I'm not going with Super high quality, doesn't matter. Export video. And that'll take a while, uh, but not too long. I'll be right back. Okay, so the uh, video has finished processing. OpenShot has finished exporting. And now we test it. <laughs> Sounds like it's working. And now we take it to YouTube. Uh, YouTube. Control T, YouTube, and now we'll upload it. And there it is, 12 months, MPEG, open, and we'll get the uh, full Russian name while we're at it, while it's uploading. Right, there's the file. Children's story with Russian subs. Very hard to find Russian subtitles in general. Um, so I was quite happy when I found this site. Uh, to make it easier to uh, to listen to and read Russian at the same time. It's going to take 29 minutes to upload, so I'm going to pause in the meantime. Okay, so the video is uploaded uh, on YouTube, and if I randomly load a selection, it should... Audio works. Alright, so now we're going to add the caption file. Captions. Uh, we're going to use Russian. And you might be asking why Russian, because uh, there is a decided lack of subtitles in Russian. And since Russia is on everybody's mind, it's maybe a good time to govori paruski. Add subtitles, Russian, and I'm going to upload a file. And choose that file, desktop, and I'm using 12.txt, open, and upload. Set the timings, and the YouTube uh, software in the background will match the audio to this text file, which is right here. It does a pretty good job of it, too. Uh, in fact, I've been very impressed with its e efficiency. So we'll give it a couple of minutes to uh, run through its processing, and I'll come back with... Uh, with the next part of how to use OpenShot and YouTube to subtitle Russian videos. Thank you. Okay, so uh, YouTube has finished processing the text file, which is this one here, and has put the timings on automatically. That's pretty darn cool in my book. 
Let's go ahead and test it a little bit, make sure that Zinaish Liti Skorka Mietzit Ragodu. The Viet Nazit. Alright, so let's see how well that matches with what is said. Zinaish Liti Skorka Mietzit Ragodu. Okay, so it's not so well done on this one. So let's adjust it a little bit, find out what we can do. So uh, we start playing. Alright, so that ends that right there. And now we go to the next one. The nuts it, all right. And now the next one. All right. So this, well, actually, see how this got pushed back. Let's go back over here. And oop, it's all moved way too much. That's not what I wanted to do. All right. So let's try again. Okay, so that's good. Um, this comes over because I can see the audio there. Alright, and now that's done. Move that over here and try again. Now see what's happened is that this is not filled in Ooh, which might mean I have to f backtrack all of these audio files which would be bad news. Let's see if, if that's the case. Alright so this comes back maybe I can tweak it 24-9 since the, this person is just naming the, the months of the year. Okay, right there. And now this one comes over. And you see how the, the blue bar moves over. So I'm going to move that just a little bit. And I'll bring this one over. And hopefully that will, let me save this before I go too much further. Hopefully that will correct the audio. All right, the rest looks pretty good. I'm not going to play with it too much, but that's uh, that's how you do it. That's how you um, synchronize an audio file uh, with text for subtitles in Russian. Hope that's useful for you. Please, if you speak Russian, uh, please subtitle more or grab audios with Russian and subtitle them with Russian uh, to celebrate your language. Thank you and happy computing.